This is hydrogen tap. It's time to get back to work and uh, I've had a few days off. Sick of course, but it's very hard to stay out of the lab. Then a little bit of rearranging here. I'd let you see what's going on. Getting ready to build some larger cells. I've pretty well come to the conclusion that it is like I've always thought it was and that is it's a matter of area. Everything else is up for grabs. You want to change the amount of electrolyte, the amount of spacing between the cells. Everything I've seen on the web so far plus what I've done, I, I've pretty well come to the conclusion that it's going to be the area that makes the difference. So one of the things that I'll be doing is making a large shell that's about 12 inches. The, the plates will be around 12 inches by 6 inches. There will be multiple plates in there and I'll be getting it set up for the summer to start injecting that with the car fuel. I notice there's a, a number of people giving facts and figures on what their cells will do and it really boils down to what I've just said, at least so far. If you're at all interested in, in building these units with me, you can go to my site hydrogentap.com and or write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. I've got my second wind here and you're going to see a lot of building. You can see my lab. This is just one side you're looking at here. Made a lot of changes. Uh, if you're looking for a spotless clean lab it isn't going to happen. I have a working lab. That means I really use it almost 24-7. It's real easy to clean it up if you don't work in it. As you can see, I sit in the center of all this. You may recognize some of it. Lots of batteries. So a lot of interesting experiments I've been doing that you've been watching and but I do believe that we're back to the area. There are intriguing things about the way you can exchange the voltage and the electrolyte, which is beginning to show a little extra hydrogen, which I'm going to be working with that by adding, by bringing in more voltage to power and playing around with the electrolyte. Some would call this clutter. I call this home. I haven't shown this much of my lab before. I don't know whether it's something you really want to see or not, but for those of you who are interested, This particular thing here 
we recognize the pipe with the clear pipe on the top is an interesting configuration I'm working with. more meters, plenty of meters, but now my scope has definitely taken care of a lot of things the meters were doing before. I have a really good place now to do my electronic side. Something you might be interested in. This is a hydrogen lab hydrogen system. If you look real close, you'll see the water is in two levels left and right, and it travels through between the tube. So you have two tubes, and a tube down is the center right there. The electrodes are there on either side, bottom, right, and left. And then you have the balloons on the top. Hydrogen obviously on the right. Oxygen on the left. I have been playing around with multiple frequencies. And if there is anything to that, believe me, I'll find it. At this point, I'm sorry to say I'm not quite a believer in that. I've got two rooms. Now you're looking through to the second lab room. Looking at the tubes that I work with are the air and cell systems. The shorter one is for the 6 inch, the taller one is for the 8 inch. And plenty of plates. I've got two band saws now, which is really working out a lot better, so I don't have to keep resetting them. That's what I'm using for cutting these plates. I've gotten a lot of asked questions about that. These band saws are the only thing i found that work. You can get them punched, what's called punched, or you can, I, you can take them down to a machine shop, but the amount of money it costs to do that, simply because of the setup fees, is not worth it for me. So I do all that by hand. Well, that's about it. It's back to work for me. We'll get these engines running. My first first priority is to get enough hydrogen out of the cells to be running with the fuel systems of the car. I'll be showing you the results of that very shortly. And now it's time to start measuring the outputs, which I know everyone's screaming about.